Hello guys and welcome to Plus Equal. Uh, this is a really quick video just to talk with you about the coordinate system in Unreal Engine. So if you already noticed in Unity this is a kind of different. Let me just push an object and you can see these axes here or these gizmos. It's very common to have the, the red, green and blue arrow, right? And you can see that they match this position here. So usually what happens is that X is uh, the forward uh, gizmo, while he is the, the gizmo that points to the right, and in this case the Z axis is going up. So what what happens? What what is the difference uh, between this and Unity? Uh, usually in Unity these two axes are the opposite. So in Unity we have this one being Z and this being I which means when we are doing uh, for example 2D games we are like this and what we have is X axis to go uh, forward and we have I to go up in this case we have Z to go up and X to go in this case forward anyway this is uh, a little of a theme of for, for discussion and pre personal preference because let me show you here uh, on Twitter David Amador uh, post uh, what kind of softwares use what and unity like you can see here i is up and is left handed while unreal engine is z is up but we also have softwares that are right handed and and also have i up and z up so there's plenty of distinctions here and if you read the comments you will go through a lot of people that like one one way or people that like another way so Tim Sweeney, actually the CEO of Epic Games, uh, shared that uh, he was young and the coordinate system stuff was really confusing. So he he, he might just let the Z up because uh, because of that. But for me, it's a question of uh, being uh, getting used to the software. Uh, the this works just with a different name, but this works all the same. So we have here, for example, the transform or, of our object in the details panel. I will push it a little bit up. And what you can see is that, uh, for example, if I reset the, the position of the object by clicking in the arrow, the object is here in the middle of, the, of this level in the position 0, 0, 0. If you put the, your mouse overing the, the colors, it says that x value equals to 0, i value equals to 0, and z, z value equals to 0. And you can change that, and you can see what is what by dragging the values here. Just press with your left mouse button, and if you go to the right, pressing the button, you are increasing, increasing the, the number, and it's going to the right, or in this case, it might be forward, you know? because we, we, we should be like the camera like this. And so I'm changing the object to go forward or backwards. Uh, for example, to the right in the E axis, right or left. And, he, and in this case, the Z axis goes up or down. It's simple as this. So just a matter of personal preference and getting used to the, to the software and that's it. Probably if you are new to the software, you'll need uh, some time to get used to it, but uh, you'll get along easily. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching.